Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 Welcome back to Let's Play Bookworm Adventures 2. Chapter 5 Goldie, Lex, and Three Bears. Hungry and needing provisions, Lex investigates a homey cabin from which wafts the unmistakable scent of fresh made porridge. <laughs> so, obviously, Goldie, Lex, and the Three Bears. Select your treasures and companion. Well, we'll be taking Mother Goose. Even though we're full on health potions. Um, because we don't have anybody else. Be prepared for gem steel. That's a shame. And high damage. Eesh. Um. Cause an extra quarter heart of damage. I really like that. But bonus words can do more if we find them. I'll take McFarmer's Almanac. And I'm going to take the Singing Heart. Ailments such as poison, bleed, etc. last one less turn. That could help out a lot. Let's go! Quick, somebody give me a spoon! Uh, this porridge is too cold, of course. Diamond tiles fully heal Lex. Give him a potion of each type. And boost the damage of the word by 100%. Diamond tiles are the cream of the crop when it comes to tiles. At least they were in the first game. And with that kind of effect, I bet they still are. <laughs> bold over. Damages Lex. Probably going to bowl us over with the bowl. Outshot. Greatly damages Lex. Too cold. Freezes Lex. Try new fast acting cold porridge. Seal, uh, seal sets and hardens in under 45 minutes. Caution, do not take internally. <laughs> so don't, don't eat this porridge. Okay, it's too cold. Um, let's see. What could we make? I haven't even looked at the tiles yet, so you've probably all been looking at the tiles going, Oh, you can make this word, and this word, and this word. Domed! Ah! Uh, only losers eat eggs. I like eggs. Ow, Oatshot. I want to live! <laughs> Funny story about that. I used to not like eggs, like at all. Um, cow. Uh, calf. Sure. Ow. I mean at all. Well, I'm gonna use a health potion because Mother Goose is about to give a health potion and we were at max, so. More potions, please. Ah! Uh, most important meal of the day. I love breakfast. I'm a big fan of breakfast. Ow. Toast is boring and flavorless. Do not talk bad about toast porridge. I like toast. So. <laughs> yeah. Taken! Ow, there's the oat shot again. Which does hurt, but when they said high damage, they weren't kidding. Um. Excellent! Astonishing! Stairway! I'm gonna save that one. I like that one. <laughs> I use it for the on the uh, next enemy. So until then, we can do. Um. Hmm. What can I make from this? Moo. Moo, and you're poisoned. Uh, and the poison will take care of him, though. What'd you get for talking bad about porridge? Uh-oh! Work for breakfast? Yum! It's a baby bear. Bear safety fun tip number one. Don't startle the bear. Don't point at the bear. And whatever you do, don't make fun of the bear's cute little diapers. He hates that. Don't make fun of the bear's cute little diapers. It's it's really adorable. It's a baby bear. Fight. Damage Lex. Bear hug. Smashes tiles and damages Lex. 
And Crybaby weakens legs. Well, it's just a baby bear. I'm afraid of where's the bigger bear? <laughs> baby bears aren't alone. Um, before something bad happens, I'm going to go ahead and use Stairway. By the way, there's the uh, Diamond Towel. Watch the potions. There we go. Two and three. Uh, two and six. There we go. That was fun. Stairway. I'm like cold porridge, but hot. <laughs> it's this porridge is too hot. The simple addition of brown sugar transforms this lifeless blob of cereal into something almost good enough to eat. Ho <laughs> ho Wow, game. Talk bad about porridge. What's that? <laughs> Grueling attack damages Lex. Um, I like oatmeal, and uh, brown sugar does add a lot to oatmeal. Too hot. Smashes a tile, stuns, damages Lex. Game, you continue to make me hungry because I'm recording this episode right after the last episode. Pyrotechnics instead of pyrotechnics. Burns Lex. That's really hot. <laughs> um. Hmm. Could do more again, but let's let's not. Let's do. Great, and it's an adjective. You're frozen. Okay. Um. Bedtime. <laughs> Bedtimer. <laughs> Bedtime. Grueling attack. Ha 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 ha. A gruel is an, another word used for uh, this type of food sometimes. Or is it like a completely different type of food? I don't know. Those. Ah, uh, I'll burn the roof of your mouth. That is true. You're mean, hot porridge. Roar. Sure. Ah, uh, you shouldn't bite on that, Lex. I mean, it's too hot. <laughs> oh, Mother Goose is ready, and she keeps her ability ready until you use a potion. That's cool. I'm going to use one. You don't need to click on a treasure. Okay, so she'll make it next turn. Neat. That's cool. National. Oh, that's a bonus word, too. Bye. That gets me. Oh, there goes the porridge. Porridge just goes flying. <laughs> Uh-oh. Right, naughty, naughty boy. Mama bear. Bear safety fun tip number two. Never get between the mama bear and her cub. She will not be cool with it and will totally wig out. That's, you know, forget fun tip. <laughs> That's a very good safety tip. Very protective, as it should be. Claw, damages legs. Maul, cuts and damages legs. Pilfer, steals a gem tile and damages legs. Don't steal my gems. That's bad. Hmm. Well, let's use some then. <laughs> Sign. Um. Hmm. A lot of A's. Uh. How about bones? Do that. Oh, you need a timeout. You stole the other power down dial. That wasn't very nice. Um, hmm. Q 
quag? Oh, I can do quake. No, I don't have a K. Um. Quagmire, if I had an M. Oh, and an R. Okay, I'm <laughs> farther away from that word than I thought. Uh. No T for quote. I'd like to use the QU in something. Uh. Oh, well. Let's instead go with... Pain. It was very painful that you took away my tiles. Burn! Poison! Poison! As you see, a lot of damage. Um... No V for pave. I don't know. There it is. Thought I had a V, yeah. Pave. Can't make pavement, but pave. Ah, bleeding. Mall. Mall is bad. <laughs> hmm. Don't want to be mauled by a bear. Moot. Oh, moot's a uh, adjective. Going to count to three. As a kid, that would put the, you know, fear of everything into me. <laughs> when my, my mother would say that. <laughs> oh, I can't make count. That would have been funny. <laughs> Fix? Or... Oh, no K for quick. Um, no, no other F for quaff. Like, it, uh, that means to drink. And you quaff a potion. Um, okay. If I could, if I could spell yeah. cough. <laughs> if I had another G, I could do coughing. But, cough. Ah, uh, so close! Ow! Um... Qua. <laughs> there we go. Moving on. Take this potion. Uh-oh! Of course. Boss battle! Papa Bear! Of course it is. What's all this ruckus? Uh-oh. Bear safety fun tip number three. Whoa. Back away. Just back away. <laughs> Claw damage Lex. Mutilate cuts and damages Lex. Pilfer steals a gym tile from Lex. Roar strengthens the enemy and weakens Lex. Yikes. Luckily, they'll last one less turn. <laughs> so this should count as a ailment, the weaken anyway. Um, let's attempt to start off strong, but I don't think I'll be able to. Uh, I see Fax. I could do Fox. Foxes. Sure! I know it's not a bonus word like the other one, but... How dare you? That was mean. Um... Oh, no tea. Quirked again. Um, quail. Do quail. Quailer is not a word. <laughs> I knew that already, but. Um, quail. Ah. Ow. I did a lot of damage for just a base, uh, base hit. That's scary. Uh, warning. No. Hmm. How about... Yeah, nice. Harry! Oh, that's a uh, adjective as well. as well. Hit! Ah! So I wonder if it would normally last three, and now it's only lasting two. I sure hope so. <laughs> now, although we're powered down, poison still works. 
It's just the damage won't do as the uh, word won't do as much damage. The poison effects will still happen. Uh, bean. Sure. Ah, bleeding. Stay away from my family. Listen, I'm just passing through. <laughs> I would greatly, I don't have to leave, but greatly appreciate if you just let us by, please. Ow! What did you want again? Porridge? <laughs> now, yes, Lex is here for porridge as well, but we didn't even find the porridge that was just right. I'll take a health potion. <laughs> Quad? Sure. Huh. Power down and poison? Not quite. Ding. Back up to max health potions. You're very, very helpful, Mother Goose. Um. Beat. Or. Between. Us. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> that was some heavy damage the Papa Bear was throwing out. Level up! Level 6, Ink Slinger! Hey, we get more attack power. Nice. Phew! Oh, oh, of course. Just right, Porridge. <laughs> Look, it's even got, like, butter on top. <laughs> Lex always resist stun attacks <laughs> because it's just right <laughs> this is awful everything's topsy goosey loosey turvy stuff is seriously amiss agreed like everything is wrong <laughs> Ch chapter six forgotten force Hopelessly lacking directions in a darkened forest, our heroes stumble across a breadcrumb, a breadcrumb trail, leading to a deliciously dangerous destiny. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start Chapter 6. The Just Right Porridge makes Lex always stun resist, always resist stun attacks. Very helpful. Be prepared for warped tiles. Of course. Oh, Mother Goose. We'll take a McFarmer's Almanac. I like that because poison and bleed and things like that can really hurt, but so can stun. <laughs> I think I'll take the Just Right Porridge. Because why not? Dividing by zero. <laughs> How will we ever find the Queen? Perhaps I can assist. Oh, who are you? For now, I am but a whisker of advice. Trust not your eyes. Everything warps in this place, even your tiles. Ha! Of course. The gingerbread man! I live warning angry cookie men have been accosting passerbys in the area do not approach he should have a frown <laughs> although the red eyes kind of make him look you know more mean and angry sugar rush smashes tiles and damages legs stealing candy steals gems oh, a lot of enemies like to steal gems this time around warped tile warps tiles and damages Lex. i wonder what warped tiles are. I don't know that off the top of my head. Hmm. Canes. Ha! Ha ha! With the power down, you do no damage. Ha! Candy cane of retribution! Oh, you are a really angry gingerbread man. We need to replace your eyes with, like, I don't know blue frosting or something so you're a good gingerbread man <laughs> um hmm 
I was gonna do wood, but there wasn't an L. I, I don't want to use the smash tile either. Hmm. Need another M E. I need a lot for remember. <laughs> Okay. Dope. Or I could do this. Diver. Ha. Ah, again with the candy cane of retribution. <laughs> hmm. Self? Oh, it's a bonus word. I'll take it. Warped Tile! Okay. Tile causes no damage to enemy, and Tile changes each round to a difficult letter. <laughs> like a Z. Oh, that's an interesting ability. That's new. So it'll change to a letter that's harder to use, like Z, or J, or QU. The letters that have these gold uh, spots here. Which I don't think I've gone over. Uh, the letters with uh, brown are easier to use. They're in a lot of words. Uh, but they do the least amount of damage. Silver tiles, the silver dot tiles, are in the middle. They are in less words, but give uh, more... But do more damage when you use them. And gold tiles are the hardest to use just because they're not in a lot of words or it's harder to use them in words but they do the most amount of damage um bold bold over bye make more sense if Lex was the wrecking wall during that but let's continue on you don't know where the queen is, do you? It's Hansel! I assume Gretel is next. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? You beat me to the punch game. <laughs> Up to no good. Smashes tiles and damages Lex. Tomfoolery. Warps tiles and damages Lex. Missing. Boy. 11. So that's his age. Sometimes answers to Hansel. Last seen wandering unsupervised into the Forgotten Forest. Knock, knock. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about... Hmm. Zoo. <laughs> There's up to no good. My sticking is very sharp, y'all. Yeah. Uh, pretty sharp. Well, I don't even know if it's sharp. I mean, you just smashed a tile. You smash. <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, sharp for it to smash right. <laughs> Tomfoolery. Yep. X, J, X. <laughs> it's going to change into those gold tiles. But you did it to three. I had some words lined up there, too. Hmm. Well, that makes things more difficult. June! Which we're not in anymore. It's now July, but... Ha! Now... I could do this now. Uh, that's a word? I was looking for the R for quarter. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> now. Uh, X, Z. <laughs> I better get used to getting good with these letters. <laughs> um. Wow, I really don't see a whole lot of choices. Do you? Rain? I'll just spit a tile at you. Uh-oh. Boy, those do a lot of damage, too. 
Well, that's a lot of QUs. <laughs> Anybody know a word that uses two or three QUs? I doubt it, but if you do, <laughs> please uh, leave a comment and then like the video and then subscribe. <laughs> but no, seriously, please leave a comment and let me know. <laughs> Quake! That should do it. Good. Please stop with the warp tiles. <laughs> That's a really mean status effect. Have you met my brother? Uh, yes, Gretzel. Gretel, actually, Gretzel. Lost, lost, girl, 12. Calls herself Gretel. Wanted for public, public littering, excessive dropping of breadcrumbs. Oh, I, I now see the breadcrumbs. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. Uh... Yeah, uh, this is the nursery rhyme, uh, Hansel and Gretel. That's what we're in now. And that was the Chester, uh, Chester, Chester cat from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I could do quail again. Um... June. Bread crumbing. Warp styles and damage lights. Forgot to go over her. Really? Muffin bomb. Leave it. Ah, uh, yes, please. Hand me a muffin. Muffin bomb. I'm hungry. <laughs> muffin bomb. Damage is like all this food. <laughs> Sugar and spice. Smashes tiles. Stuns and damages legs. Bread crumbing. Crumbling. Warp styles and damages legs. How does living breadcrumbs warp tiles? I don't understand. Sugar and spice. That too. Um. Z. <laughs> uh. Please. There we go. As in, you know, kind of like beg that kind of plea. But uh, I was gonna go for please, as in please. You know, um. Please leave a comment. There we go. <laughs> Ow. Who throws a muffin? <laughs> no, you don't throw a muffin. You eat a muffin. All these J's and I've got nothing. <laughs> and the QU's. Um, I used the A, so I can't use quail anymore. Um... <laughs> Riles. And there we go. There's the just right porridge kicking in. So the uh, sugar and spice, the, I guess it would be the spice is the stun. <laughs> uh, but anyway... It doesn't work because we have just right porridge. The power of just right porridge. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> the uh, can I use Zeus? No, that's a shame. <laughs> hmm. All right, I gotta scramble. Go ahead. Yep, there's breadcrumbing. I knew that was going to happen. Right after I scramble. Jeez, that makes this really difficult. <laughs> um. Pay? There's Muffin again. Um. There's J. Like a blue J. Okay, at least we resisted the stun. What can we make? Ah, <laughs> oh, no tea for donut. Yes, I have food on the mind now. I have food on the mind now. <laughs> for a while, I've had it for a while. Um, Rook! Here we go. No, don't do that! 
is fun to squish in the worms. I don't have a good German uh, accent like at all, or whatever they're supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be German. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying though, so please, please forgive me. I do try. Um, I don't like warp tiles. <laughs> Aunt Warp tiles are mean. Ha! Ah, what a funny joke. Warp tiles are not funny. <laughs> uh can't bread. Um Q I've had another uh W I do Kiwi. Ken! Let's do that! Ken! Okay, whoo! But you see, the tiles are still warped. I mean, you don't have the... Mmm, don't I look yummy? Yes, you do, gingerbread house! <laughs> but, uh... Yes, the warped status effect is gone, but the tiles are still those really hard tiles to use. Gumdrop Blast damages Lex. Melted Marshmallow burns and damages Lex, and Cream Blast warps tiles and damages Lex. This, like, you're gonna use this as a cannon, aren't you? You're gonna act like a cannon. I just already see it. 1,000 square foot, square foot, three bedroom home, great location, made of candy, spacious kitchenette with gigantic oven, starting at $450,000. <laughs> Great! No, you even did more than I thought. You actually bring a cannon out. <laughs> I thought you just fire from the window. You know, and it act like a cannon. No, no! Game one upped me. Gingerbread House actually has a cannon. <laughs> Feet. Sure. Gumdrop Blast. Ow. Pounded by pastry. Yes. Though, well, well, the gingerbread is firing at you, so yeah, I get it. Um, because the gun drops aren't pastry. Anyway, let's hope we can beat this gingerbread house and move on. Ah! Only 40 calories. I doubt that. <laughs> I really doubt that. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh. Now we're back to this conundrum. Oh man, if I could make conundrum, that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, heir? Like the heir to a throne? Ow, there's the marshmallow. Okay, so it did have a cannon. You have a lot of cannons! <laughs> Lazy. There we go. Really? When did the... Crispy. When did the gingerbread house get a lot of cannons? Um... Let's see. What can we make? Uh... I don't have an L. Can make Evolve. Re no, no, it's AP for Reap. Then I can make Reaper. Oh, instead, how about yeah, Keeper? <laughs> Up and we. <laughs> That's right. We just wrecking balled the gingerbread house. <laughs> that worked out. Boss battle. The witch. Oh, dear child, who has brought you here? Um, we just stumbled in here. No flavor text for the witch. She has too many attacks and a lot of health. Almost two full bars of health. Which, uh, each bar of health, each bar of health is 10 HP. 10 hearts. Broom beating damages legs. I don't even see your broom. You're just gonna summon it and hit me with it? Delicious lure stuns and damages Lex. Tile enchantment warps tiles and damages Lex. Confusing Cackle 
changes styles and damages Lex, Flyby Witching, Warps and Locks styles, and damages Lex. Fantastic! <laughs> You're not gonna be, be easy, so let's start this right with some good damage. Whew! At least we have our just right porridge. Um, no reason to bring the harp. None of the enemies did a effect that really, that like bleed or poison or anything like that. And you're better off bringing the just right porridge. It'll do a little more for you. Um. Tongue. Tongued. Okay. That's a bonus word. Ah, confusing cackle. You will be a daintily mouthful. Let's continue all of the, like, mouth and food and stuff like that with gravy. Oh. Ah, <laughs> wow. Fly by witching. And she did. Three tiles are warped. Three tiles are locked. That's terrible. And I don't think I have any more food words either <laughs> with this setup. Um. Hmm. No, the other O is locked. I could do quail again. I could use this L. Quaily! No. Oh, quail! Which I guess you could eat. Oh, there's tile enchantment. There is no escape from these uh, crazy tiles. Apparently not. <laughs> um. You can quote me on that. Oh, I can't use quoter. Quote! Alright. Let's get out of here. Warp tiles. Uh, level up. Level 7. Clerk. Defense increased. Okay. The uh, warp tiles, be very careful about. Now what do we find? Oh, what's this? Gumdrop necklace. Slightly increases gem effects. Neat. I wonder if they'll have more damage or will last longer or what? Gumdrop necklace. That sounds handy, though. We'll take it. That was brutal. Which way now? Simple. Down the rabbit hole. I don't have a good Chester cat voice. Though, the caterpillar may delay your travels with this smoke and illusions. Ah, we got another mini game. Nice. Let's, uh... This episode go a little longer since the last one was shorter, and we'll play the mini game, and then we'll end the episode. Now we've already show I've already shown off Word Up. I really like that one. Uh, let's I'll just go down the line. I'll show each one at least once. But Word Up's cool. Uh, let's do Lincoln Spell. Transmute rows of tiles into gold. So, spell words using the letters letters from the board. Using letters turns them to silver, then into gold. Link rows of tiles to earn prices. So, spell words, and we get a tutorial mode, just in case you didn't play the first game. Spell words with these letters. You can't duplicate words. Now, usually when you first enter, the timer immediately starts. You have 90 seconds. Watch the timer. When the game runs out, when the time runs out, game is over. Spelling words will give you more time, however, but you can see the letters you have to work with. Whenever you use a letter, let's say I make W, let's say I make Way, W A Y. These three letters will turn silver. You can't duplicate words, so if I use them in another word, let's say Wave, W A V E, the W and A will now be gold since I use them in Way. Spell words win prizes. So why don't I just go ahead and start with those? Way. Now ways is a different word. It's not a duplicate. Um, 
wave. Like so. And we can do waves. We can do, or use the A's, good. Vase. Vases. Um, Z. Um, Zag. Zig. Yak. Yaks. You can use the letters more than once, as you can see. J. J's. There we go. We've completed that row, so we get that tile. Jag. Oh, no. A no, uh. Because I do jags. Um. House. Houses. Bid. Bids. Um. Goose. Gooses. Um. Guide. There we go. Lincoln Spell. I'm pretty good at Lincoln Spell. You just have to think of different words you could use with the letters. And then when you have duplicate uh, letters, like I had two W's, don't keep using the same W. Switch out the W and get more out of it. Um, doing that and just using the letters at your disposal, you can complete Lincoln Spell pretty well. It's probably the game I'm best at is Lincoln Spell. Uh, we get our health potion, but we're full. We get our power up potion, our uh, purify potion, amethyst tile, ruby tile, and uh, diamond tile. Thanks for stopping by. Go get them, Lex. And that will end this episode. Next time we take on chapter seven, the caterpillar's layer. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I'm Cinderay9. I hope you had a lot of fun. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone.